I took a bunch of oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Yeah, I hope you brought your oven mitts too, my man, because in three to five years, your channel will be dead, just like Larry Jones, and you'll be working in a kitchen too. VPB Money Man here. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, he already took this video down, but you got Larry Jones begging people for views and begging people for help. And, you know, Chris Sane asking for a thousand likes. For those of you that haven't um, been watching my last couple of videos, which was pure fire. And, um, as, you know, a lot of people made a lot of money. Didn't get a lot of views as well as earned. Do me a favor before we get this video started. Please make sure you like and subscribe and please make sure you help this video get at least 1000 likes. OK, without further. Ado. Now, um, there is something going on with the. And um, there are certain things that trigger certain things. Understand what I'm saying uh, without saying. And so I'm running a test. Uh, I will not post another video until next week because I need you guys to tell me positively with positive comments. You know why they're asking for all that? It's because the YouTube algorithm is not recommending their channels anymore. They're getting a lot of negative comments. They're getting a lot of negative responses from people and people are not viewing them anymore. They're having ad revenue problem and they're having... Um, uh, streaming problems where they're not getting their views. See, what happened was they based their life off of YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. They thought this money would just keep rolling in, rolling in, rolling in because they all popped up talking about stocks and the stock market during the heyday of the bull market. Now, you got a lot of these people that they have discords, they got Patreons, they got schools, but when you get people who expose these grifters for what they really are, like mommy trader, does not work, does not have an income, she does not bring in any money. This video, she once was talking about, you know, all type of speculative crap, and then when the market took a crap on itself, she became a dividend investor. I recommended this video to people, and I recommend you watch this. I made this video on purpose. Larry Jones and Keenan Grace, if you lost money with them, you need to see this ASAP. It's because I knew people in the long run will have lost more money than they have made money. During the bull markets, anything they said made money because it's a bull market. You can buy anything in a bull market and you will make money. But when the market corrected itself in 2023, that's when a lot of people's uh, portfolios got exposed, where when it corrected itself in like January, February, March, April, they switched from individual speculative stocks. They switched over to VOO, SCHD, and VTI. And their long-term subscribers was like, why didn't you tell me to buy this in the first place? It's because... Telling you to buy that is boring. Being a long-term investor is boring, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get a chance to talk about the hottest stocks at barbecues. You don't get a chance to say, oh, I bought ChargePoint at 50 cents and now it's $100. But you know in the long run, your money will be there for you at the end. When all the free money was given out, when all this free money was given out, they did the same thing their followers did. They gambled it. And they went and they bought liabilities. They bought cars, they bought suits, they bought gold. They upgraded their studios with state-of-the-art stuff, thinking the money will keep coming in forever. Now they're having a problem because they base their money on the YouTube streaming revenue, the school revenue, the Discord revenue, the Patreon revenue. And people just aren't, you know, they don't care. And the reason why they still have so many subscribers is because it's just like the gym. People never cancel their gym membership is because they feel like psychologically they failed. People don't want to feel like they failed at investing. But in reality, if they would have stuck around a little bit longer, they would see channels like mine. And I think those people are starting to come over to my channel because... They realize that investing is boring and it doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to worry about shoulder, head and shoulder patterns, resistance levels, buy-in levels, stop losses, puts, calls, all this crap. You don't got to worry about that. All you do is set it and forget it and you're good. You're good. When you take a look at these people, they're going to have to eventually get normal jobs and regular jobs again. Mommy traders unemployed. 
Larry Jones, what skill does he have? Him and Stocks with Josh work together. They both got laid off during the pandemic. Stockmo, I don't really know what he did. He was an analyst or something. Who knows? Uh, the, the other guy, Curry, uh, hey, they going to have to get jobs. People are catching on. This is why I always said, learn a trade. People can never come back and make a video about me and be like, you pumped uh, SOS charge point. No, I pump paying off your credit card debt, buying real estate, learning a trade, living frugal, living below your means, investing in index funds. I always say stay away from crypto. Crypto is trash. All right. Crypto runs up and then crashes like it always does. And you literally turn a hundred dollar bill into a twenty dollar bill. When the market started to correct itself, people's portfolios dropped 40, 50, 60, 80, 90 percent. The overall market was only dropping 10, 15, 20 at most. So when you were in the overall market, I really didn't care. I was buying stocks at a discount. These people have came up here and they could have changed the face of the black, brown, poor, white communities, the working class communities, but they didn't. They could have said, ladies and gentlemen, with all that free money you're getting, you, your brother, your sister, your auntie, get together and buy a five family building and let the government pay for the building since they're going to give all this free money. And then once they stop giving you money, you put renters in, you live together, you do a rent hack where you all live in the same apartment for like two years, stack all your money and let your renters pay for the building. But they didn't do that. They pumped SOS, ChargePoint, Neo, Rivian, Mullen, um, all these crappy stocks. And now people's portfolios are done. They keep wanting more and more from you. They want more money for you to put on these investing platforms. They want your views. They want your money for schools. They want your money for discords. Aren't they supposed to be giving you the knowledge to be financially free? Why are they always asking you for something? Why are they always asking for your money? First, they want your money. Now they want your views. Now they want you to give them thumbs up when they, you get a thumbs up when you deserve a thumbs up. You don't ask people for a thumbs up. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you like my videos, think about subscribing. If you learn something from me, think about subscribing. Either way, I appreciate if you do, but either way, I feed myself because I have a career and I invested the right way. True financial freedom is not depending on anybody for anything. You did the work, you fed yourself, you put in the work, and therefore, you can literally look around and go, you know what, I'm good. I don't need that person in my life because they're not adding value. I don't need that person. All they add is stress. I knew it was gonna happen. They're gonna have to get regular jobs. So I don't know what skills they have, but hey, get your oven mitt ready. No regrets.